Hey guys and welcome to the One Motorhome channel. Uh, today we're going to be demonstrating this lovely British built motorhome. Uh, this one is made by Bailey who are built in Bristol. Uh, it's a Bailey Adamo 754DL. Now can it sleep eight people? That is the question. Uh, this particular van is built on a Ford chassis uh, with a automatic gearbox and actually a huge brake horsepower of 160 brake horsepower so you're never going to struggle driving around in this one. Uh, there's plenty I'm going to show you so follow me around and let's have a good look. Uh, we'll start with the outside working our way around and then we'll have a look all the technical details the specification uh, inside uh, where the magic happens. Uh, but follow me around and let's have a look. So starting off on the front of this vehicle, lovely Ford cab. Uh, it's got daytime running lights, heated windscreen, alloy wheels. As you can see there actually, it comes with this gorgeous silver cab going all the way around through the graphics into the white habitation. Uh, but check this out. Uh, it's around 5.4 meters in length. Uh, it travels four, uh, but there is a potential to sleep six. Um, on the outside, obviously, we're looking at the habitation door here and just to the left of that below, this is where you plug in on a campsite. So if you're plugging into the electricity, that is where you do it. And also if you want to charge the vehicle at home, that's where you do that as well. Obviously, this is where you gain entrance to the vehicle and this is where your gas bottles live. Now, look at this. Windows all around the vehicle and they're really quite flush to the van actually as well so they're not sticking out a huge amount which is nice uh, in the back let me see if i can open this up Oi. now this is brand new this vehicle so it's a 2023 model so it's still got all its cushions cables and things like that in the wrapper um, but you can see we've got a huge amount of storage space in the back here um, conveniently we've got some electric points as well so you've got a 12 volt point and also a three pin plug and some shelves just on the top there as well now moving round let's have a look and i do apologize about the background noise um, you can see on the top there just there it's got a digital tv aerial and it's also got a reversing camera to help you out whilst reversing and it's also bike rack ready so it's got the bike uh, rack bars on the back so you can just pop your bike rack on there and obviously take your bikes with you this is the other entrance to the garage and then we've got a water filler here so you would pump water into that so you can either connect to a water supply or you can suck water out of a container into the tanks now it's got a hundred liter fresh water tank and a hundred liters waste this is where your toilet cassette lives so Obviously, that's where you empty your toilet. And as you can see, we've got these little grills on the back here, little vents. So you've got quite a nice size fridge in there, but we'll have a look at that when we go inside. But check this out. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, but let's go inside and have a proper look, shall we? So just in the cab area now, and as you can see, we've got a multifunctional steering wheel. So this is where you control your cruise control. You can also answer your telephone via this. So you can connect your telephone to the system via Bluetooth. And also you can turn the volume up and down on the stereo. You can also uh, fast forward onto different channels, um, all the latest stuff. Now, it's got a fully automatic Ford gearbox, as I mentioned, and you have got climate control. So that includes air conditioning. Um, you've got a stereo here, which as I mentioned, you can connect to via Bluetooth. And then just on the top here, we've got a mobile phone or a tablet holder. Uh, so you can quite conveniently clip your tablet onto there or your mobile phone. So if you're like me and you use Google Maps or something like that, so you get live updates, then that's perfect. Just above that, we've got an LCD screen. And that's where you see what's going on behind you. So that's uh, linked directly to your reversing camera on the back. And then to the left, as usual, glove box here, lots of storage space on the top. And of course, we've got electric windows and things like that. Now, this has got concertina cab lines that go all the way around. So that keeps that area really private of an evening. And also you've got swiveling seats. 
seats. A lot of people like to call them captain seats, um, but they do swivel all the way around uh, to make good use of the space in the cab. Um, just above here, we've got a huge skylight. At the moment, it's got the mosquito net out, but that has got a mosquito net and a blackout blind. Now, all the windows in this van that open have got mosquito nets and blackout blinds. Moving back a little bit, just so you can see the living area, we've got two opposing bench seats. Now, these are really clever. Now, what a lot of people like is to have this space in the living room. So there's a lot of space in here, but it's got a hidden secret. Underneath these seats here, it has got a pop-up seat. So two forward facing seats, one lives underneath here and one lives underneath here and they have got seat belts. So it can travel for and sleep for. However, there is an option to turn this into an eight berth and I will show you how. Um, so you're gonna have four traveling seat belts with the capability of sleeping eight. Just above here, we've got an electric drop down bed. So that will drop down. Let me just see if I can do that for you actually. So just press this, let's have a go. There we go, look at that. An electric drop down bed. So it's brand new, it hasn't been serviced or anything yet, so it sounds like it needs a bit of grease in there. It's a little bit squeaky, um, but obviously it's all in its wrapper and that is a huge double bed. Now that will come all the way down. And the way you do that is by actually moving this table down. Now it's got an electric switch here. I'll show you what I'm pressing actually. So you've got, this is for the bed up and down and this one is for the table so if you press that one that table slowly comes down right pop that back up and also let's pop this bed back up and what i'll do is i'll show you a quick image actually of the forward facing traveling seats but bear with me there we go i've just moved a few cushions around and abracadabra we have a forward facing seat with a seat belt so that can conveniently just fold back into a sofa as and when needed now moving back to the living area obviously this is the sofa still made up and underneath this you have got another seat belt as i mentioned uh, but this table can move in all directions so it can move left to right back forwards uh, and it can also spin around now you can extend this table so there's a bar just here actually that you pull out then you pull this over and you've got a huge table for you know eating sitting relaxing playing cards all those sorts of things um, now as i mentioned earlier this can move up and down so you can buy an extra bed kit so you can lower this table all the way down and you've got an infill cushion that goes across this here and then obviously you have your sofa here, so that would make that into another bed. Now to do that, you will need to buy an extra ladder and you will need to buy a extra cushion for here. So you can buy them on Prima Leisure, I believe it is. Um, so the cushion there, a ladder, and the ladder's obviously to get in your bed on the top, the electric bed. So normally this bed would come all the way down for sleeping, but you can buy an extra kit for it. Uh, but let's move on and have a look in the kitchen. What do you think so far, guys? Uh, really cool, isn't it? And um, there's lots more I'm going to show you on this van as well. Uh, if you do like the videos and you want to see more, then do like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so, and it just means you'll get notifications uh, letting you know that I've posted a new video. And I've done lots of more videos as well, so go on to my channel uh, at The One Motorhome. Um, and you'll find lots of demonstrations on Baileys, Katagos, auto sleepers. Uh, but let's move on and have a look at the kitchen in this, eh? This is a really nice size fridge. Now it's a three-way fridge, so that means it will run from gas, electricity, or a leisure battery. So plenty of space in there. And also up top here, we've got a nice size freezer box as well. So that is lovely. Uh, just above that, we've got some storage space. So actually quite a big cupboard in there. Um, so that's quite useful. And then round to my right, uh, this is the kitchen. So you've got three gas burners and an electric hot plate. So if you're on a campsite, you don't want to waste your gas and you're plugged in, you can use their electricity, which is nice. 
Under there, we've got a grill and a full size oven, which you can fit lots of things in actually. A huge chicken, maybe even a turkey for Christmas. Obviously you've got hot and cold running water and a little bit more uh, work surface just there. And obviously this is the habitation door here. And as I mentioned, blackout blinds all the way around. And that has got a fly screen that goes across the door as well. So when you open the door, um, you're not gonna get lots of flies or wasps and bees in here and things like that. Window leading out from the kitchen. Again, mosquito net, blackout blind. And just to show you a few of the controls, we've got all the light switches here. That's to control your electric bed up and down. Then that's to control the table up and down. And this is to switch from the front bed, sorry, the rear bed to the front bed. So you can control either bed. So we've got another electric drop down bed in this. And the controls for that are just here. So up and down, which I'll show you in a second. This is for your heating system. So it's got Truma heating system. So that's really quite easy to use. Let me just go to the heat. So you turn it on, turn up the temperature and you can control that really nicely actually. Uh, that will keep that nice and toasty in here. Also that's for your heating system. So you can turn that on and off. You can choose whether you want to go from gas. Uh, so gas, a mixture of gas and electricity or just electricity. So that again is very useful. And then this one is to control the fan speed. So you can control how quickly you're blowing that out from the vehicle. So that's your heating. Now at the back, we have got a huge U-shaped lounge. Now look at this. You can just kind of picture yourself sat in here relaxing. You've got windows all the way around. So if you're a nosy neighbor, you can have a good look at what's going on around you. Or even if you're on the side of a mountain, you can have a really good look, can't you? Um, just on the left here, you've got a huge wardrobe, lots of hanging space in there. A little reading lamp, which is really quite nice. And a load more storage up on the top there as well. And then to the right hand side, again, we've got the storage. Now this is very convenient. I've left the door open to touch there, so I do apologize for that. But you can actually gain access to this from outside. So you've got internal storage, which you can gain access from outside. Now, these underneath here, you can pull this across like so. And you can fill that in and make that into a double bed. So that is a really nice size double bed. Let me just pop that back in. I'll do that in a second. Sorry, I've only got one hand. And then just above that, as I mentioned, you've got the button here. See if I can do this. There we go. Press that and you've got a double bed that comes down. Look at this. Now that is a really nice size double bed again. So two, not one, two electric top down beds. As I mentioned, if you want it to be an eight berth, you would have, or sorry, eight sleeping. You would have a double bed here, double here, a double on the electric drop down bed behind me. And then, you, like I said, you need to buy the infill cushions. But the main thing is this vehicle doesn't come with the ladders. So this bed actually goes all the way down. If I can press the button. Um, oh, sorry, you do have to move these cushions to do that. But it does go all the way down flat. So you don't actually have to um, use the ladder to get in. Underneath here, you just need to move these cushions out of the way. And then this bed will come flush to these. So, and perfectly, you can leave that made up at night. So uh, in the daytime, sorry. So in the day, leave it made up and then just squash it back up of an evening. Moving on, let's have a look at the toilet and shower. Um, but firstly, just before I walk past here, actually, just to show you, we have got curtains which draw all the way across here uh, for privacy. So if you're in bed, you can draw that across, um, like I say, for a little bit of privacy in there. Now, this is the toilet and shower. And check this out. Look how modern it looks. Really, really nice. Um, just here, we've got an electric flush toilet. Uh, you've got a wash basin for getting washed, doing your teeth. And then just above that, just in here, see if this opens. There we go. 
You've got space to keep all your toiletries, toothbrush, things like that. Uh, really modern shower. And that's the controls for the shower just here. And if you can see there, actually, it has got blown air coming into here. So you're not going to be cold in the shower. Um, also, one thing to point out is it does have two draining points. So if you're not completely uh, level, then the water will go either side. So it's never going to sit there stagnant, which is good. Right, so just to go through a few of the options, options, just to go through a few of the extras uh, on this vehicle. So let's run through the extras and also dimensions and things like that. So uh, obviously this is in the Adamo range. Uh, it's a 754 DL. Uh, officially, it's only a four berth but you can buy the extra bits to turn it into an eight sleeping motorhome. So not eight traveling, eight sleeping. Uh, on a Ford cab with 160 brake horsepower, two liter engine, it's around 7.5 meters in length and it's around 2.4 meters in width. Um, it's overall height is just under 2.9 meters. Um, it's on a three and a half ton chassis. So this van you can drive on any license, which is brilliant. Uh, it's got grade three insulation, the gas locker in this. So where your gas bottles live, that will hold two 11 kilogram gas bottles. So two pretty big gas bottles. Also, it's got 100 litres fresh water tank and 100 litres wastewater tank. Uh, the front drop down double bed. Let me just get these specs for you. Bear with me. The front drop down double bed is just under 1.9 meters uh so uh around six foot one by about four point uh, four foot five and the rear drop down bed is the same size six foot one by four foot five so massive beds two electric double beds that drop down absolutely spot on a uh, very very modern looking very good design and on a three and a half ton chassis I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, guys. Uh, my name's Jonathan. This is the One Motorhome channel. Uh, we've got lots of videos coming up. Uh, we've got Catargos, Baileys, Swifts, Likers, Hillsides. The list goes on and on and on and on. Um, so I'll look after you with video demonstrations. All you need to do for me is like the video, make a comment below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. So my face should be popping up around here somewhere or on the other side, one of the two. If you just click my face, which will take you to the channel, click subscribe, press the little bell icon to get updates. So you will automatically get notifications when I send the video and then you've done your job. Then I've done my job and hopefully we're all happy. Um, but I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.